This Beethoven is a really special piece. It's the only viola quintet he wrote for that instrumentation. The first violin part has these sort of recitative passages where I go a little bit crazy. Viola quintets are always a nice opportunity to do something a little bit different. And the last movement reminds me of sort of like an Italian opera or something. It's actually one of my very favorite pieces to play. Accordo is a chamber music group. It's made up of principal players from the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra and from the Minnesota Orchestra. There are eight of us all together, and we perform five to 10 concerts a season. In different combinations, different groups of us play together for different concerts. I get to do a lot of orchestral playing and giant symphonies. And then it's great to be able to mix it up and go to a chamber music setting with a cordo because it's much smaller scale and everything you play is heard. Everyone can hear everything you're doing and they respond to it. Considering we have totally different orchestra schedules, it is incredible that we find five or six times a year to come together for a week to rehearse and play these concerts, but all of us make it a priority because we enjoy it so much. The nice thing about Accordo is that we really are all friends. Uh, it's not fake, it's not for the concerts or anything, but we all have very similar senses of humor, I think, and because we've all known each other in different contexts over the years, there's so much history there. Uh, so it's always really eventful whenever we get together. So tonight, we are making spaghetti alla puttanesca. Cordo is a group of great friends and musicians that uh, are lucky enough to live in the same city and play chamber music with each other. Now Steve is a beautiful player. Every time he plays, I'm blown away. He's technically like perfect, which is not fair. Aaron is an amazing violinist and a very confident, strong musician and person. Q. He's incredibly knowledgeable, thoughtful, smart musician. Becca Albers is an amazing violist, and, and she also happens to be married to Maya Papach, someone who cares about music a lot and is always trying to make things better. She's a very special person. She's an amazing comedian. Ruggiero Alifranchini, I have known since I was 18, someone I love to hang out with and cook with a lot incredibly intelligent, thoughtful, passionate musician and violinist. Tony's a great, very lovable guy, strong player, easygoing, helps him make a concert great. We have one member that's also not here. Ron Thomas, yeah, I mean, he flies in from New Jersey to come play our concerts because he shares the same view of chamber music as us. Bon appetit, eh? Bon appetit. All right, all right, all right. I like to make a toast. I like to make a toast. This is our eighth season? I have never been in a group I appreciated this much for this long, Aww. ever in my life. Woo! And it's so awesome to play with you all. Over the years, living here in the Twin Cities, you meet a lot of supporters of the arts. Some of us don't have pianos in our homes, or we have little kids running around. We need just a base to set up in where we can rehearse for a whole day or two or three days. And Jenny Nilsson and Garrison Keeler have been so generous with their home for house concerts, for rehearsals. It's nice to have friends like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
Today, Accordo's rehearsing for a show at the Ordway Concert Hall. My good friend Steve Kretzman wrote this amazing piece called Mighty Like a Moose. It's a piano quintet, but it's a score to a silent movie. In it, you get to play other instruments, you get to interact in real time with the movie and do sound effects. No, wait, watch. That's it. That's it. It's challenging in a different way that playing Schubert quintet is challenging, or it's stuff that where you have to react quickly. You have to kind of have your a different part of your brain working. It's a different experience. Um, I, I like that about the stuff Steve writes. Cordo formed in 2009. They were presented by Kate Nordstrom at the Southern Theatre. Today, Schubert Club presents Accordo at Plymouth Congregational Church and various venues around the Twin Cities. These are really world-class musicians, and so when they come together, we're lucky that they prepare and perform wonderful concerts. Every single time we play together, I think I personally grow musically and also just personally. It's a privilege to get to play with all of these guys. And I think it's one of the pleasures of being in this community is that there's such a hunger for great music. Even though there are two great orchestras in this community, people want to hear more. And as soon as we start to play together, it's, it's just fun and we feel like we can get to the heart of the music. It's like a guilty pleasure for me and I think for, for all of us. I don't feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Tashin and Kay Savick are really incredibly generous, gracious hosts, and they invite us into their home occasionally to play house concerts. These musicians, they are generous with their time, they are generous with their music, they, they, they work so hard to provide such a beautiful sound, and it really shows. Schumann Piano Quintet is just a sunny, wonderful piece, kind of embodies everything that's wonderful about chamber music. Anna Polanski, you can tell when she plays that every note she's feeling. This is exactly how chamber music ought to be played, in an intimate circle of, of friends and music lovers. We see their faces, we feel their energy. It's truly conversational, it's truly intimate, it's personal music making. When I think of Accordo, I think of my life in the Twin Cities with all these friends that have come from other places and how lucky we are to be together to make music. Mm -hmm.